Right, um, we're just uh, investigating some new wheel covers, aerodynamic wheel covers that uh, have been sent in. Uh, we've been looking at different aerodynamic devices now um, for a while. Uh, and in fact, we, we had a look at a, another product, um, which was this one. This is for a, a 22 and a half inch um, wheel. The, and it works really well. I mean, it fits, it fits inside, the, inside the rim uh, on, the, on the wheel itself. But the only problem with them is that because it's ABS plastic, the, the edges do tend to start to wear down, which then means that there's a, a, a risk of it flying off, <laughs> which, which isn't ideal. Um, and, and anyway, these aren't in, uh, aren't in manufacture anymore. Um, plus it gives issues with um, checking the, the wheel nut tightness. So um, we've been investigating alternatives, um, just had this delivery through. So I just wanted to have a quick look and see what we've got. Uh, so that looks like for a 19 and a half inch wheel. Ah, okay, so we've got some 22 and a half as well, which is nice. You see the size difference? Yeah. So that looks good. So I assume this is for the full range of uh, tyre size? Uh, I don't know whether or not they do a 17 and a half. Uh, I think I've only asked that at the moment to, to have a look at the, the 19 and a half and the 22 and a half, because those will be the most common at the moment. Um, but I think really we just wanted to have a look at them because I was a bit, I just didn't really know how they were going to fit. So let's have a look in a second. So I don't know whether, whether they've sent me. Ah, oh, right, okay, we've got a box of bits. So. Okay, so we've got, so one of the things that I did notice about the product is that rather than that one, which actually fits to the wheel, these fit to the axle hubs. <coughs> so this will have to be a two part. Um, so what will happen is that we'll produce a bracket um, which fits onto uh, either the axle hub or the, the studs for the wheel, um, which we'll have to investigate a little bit better on that. Um, but this then fits basically in front of in front of the hub, so the hub will be behind here. That will fit in front. I think the idea is, uh, bearing in mind I haven't played with these before yet, the idea is that this clips. Oh right, okay. So that literally just clips, and twists. So, if I push that down, so bearing in mind that bracket would be attached to a, a fixed hub. Twist around. That's all good to do with one else. Yeah. The rotation will be easier. Yeah. There we go. Ah, right, okay. Nice. Okay. So that's fixed on quite well. So that's, yeah, that's solid. So that's riveted on uh, star fasteners, bolted on at the back. That's nice actually, that's a really, really elegant, neat design. So the idea with these is that this, this rim here doesn't actually even touch the wheel. Um, so it, it covers it covers the front of the wheel, but the the wheel rim itself will actually be just slightly larger. Um, so from an aerodynamic point of view, it, it's brilliant because it covers the um, the space behind, uh, but also it's uh, it doesn't cause any issues because it's not actually touching the wheel itself. So what so sort of neat. what sort of fuel saving is this like? Uh, okay, so they they claim at the moment um, between about one and one and a half percent. Um, I've had a look at some of the the, the figures that they've uh, that they've produced. Admittedly, some of those figures are based on tractor units only. So these tend to be in default use for tractor units. Um, so 
it, it's a, a sort of new application really putting them on trailers so that'll be quite interesting um, but I think if we can validate even I mean for the cost of them you know I mean if we if we can get it down to maybe even between 0.5 and 1% fuel saving it's got to be a good thing and what, um, what sort of price is it for an item like this? Uh, so we're we're negotiating with them at the moment. Um, so we, we're going because these are these are only concept samples at the moment. Um, but I mean, I'm hoping that you would get payback literally within a few months. Um, that, that's the kind of target I'm at. Because ideally, <clears throat> what we're looking for is something cheap that you can just bash on an existing trailer really nice and easily. It's not going to get damaged. Mm. So that's that's a really really nice. Uh, construction ABS, I think these are. Um, the, the main concern that I had was how the drivers are going to check the, the wheel nut tightness. So apparently, oh right, that's nice. That's nice. I like it. So it's just spring mounted. Yeah. Press the button in. You just press the button in, twist it by a third. And then when you put it back on again, that'll be fixed. <coughs> we'll do another video. So easy later. to take off, easy to replace if, if that's necessary. really nice. Yeah, I like that. So we've already got. Hang on, let's put it on. Is it the same hub for the 22? 22. <coughs> All oh, right. So these have got a slightly deeper lip on them on the outside. So I haven't actually put these on a wheel yet, obviously, but um, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So the hub is is the same. <coughs> yeah, so that just twists into position. Easily clips in as well. That's really nice. Yeah, I like that. And I'm guessing these could be painted as well. So these could be in uh, customer colour, which would be even nicer. It would really make a, a trailer look of the business. Yeah. And because these Brilliant. are an aerodynamic feature, I assume they're, they're legal for, for the roads now as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's there's no issues with them at all. They don't go outside the um, the overall width. Um, they're not. There's not gonna be any conflict with the wheels themselves. Um, the only thing that I think we need to investigate is what, what the bracket's going to be from there, either onto the wheel hub or onto the, to the wheel studs, um, which we'll have to investigate a little bit more and, and find out which way is the best way of doing it. I suspect onto the, uh, onto the axle hub itself, um, but we'll just have to find out. But yeah, just wanted to kind of share first unboxing really, but uh, yeah, wheel covers, aerodynamic wheel covers. Brilliant.